turn that off. As good as it is, uh, I don't know if it'll get this video copyrighted or not. So, you read the title, new After the Flash game, and now I feel like it's the perfect time for people to start playing After the Flash, especially because of the Christmas presents, which I have bought four of. I don't know if that's a mistake or not, but I've bought four of them because, uh, money, and also, I, I like After the Flash. I've been playing it for roughly a year. Uh, I haven't imp imp I haven't improved at it at all that entire time. Oh, I've improved at making characters, 100%. But the new game, After the Flash, Winter Tide. Winter Tide, I think it was. Yeah, After the Flash, Winter Tide. Currently in beta. And, well, it's the new After the Flash game. I've streamed After the Flash Mirage a couple times. My microphone is completely, like, broken on all of them for some reason that I do not understand. But in this video, I'm hopefully going to teach someone how to play the game because I've noticed myself teaching people normally how to play the game. So, it'll th hopefully this will just make it a lot easier for you to get into After the Flash. And I want to say, I don't think After the Flash Mirage will die. I just think that... People are going to start playing After the Flesh Winter, Winter Tide a bit more. I think they're just two different roleplay games for two different moods, personally. At the current, in this game's current state, it's not very polished at all. So far, twice I've found a way to glitch, it, like, so I'm knee d deep in the ground in this little area, in this spawn. Also, they have not added items yet, and speaking of items, I think I'll show you guys the customization real quick. I, my character's name is Sweeper. You put in your name, and you can write a bio. I haven't made a bio for this character yet. Down here, you can select shirts and such for your character. Uh, where is it? Uh, it uh, no leading passerby but there you can select shirts here it's the same thing just pick pants it's pretty easy that actually looks really good you can use that and which is a good transfer transition to data this is where you can save and store your characters that you've made at the moment there are 30 saves and after the flash. The other one, I think there are eight. Last time I checked. Eight or ten, I can't remember. So this game, graphically speaking especially, is a lot bigger than after the flash Mirage. And also, it has different UI. This rigs, these are where the items that you have on your character go when you make them. To add accessories, you'd go to the catalog, click on an item, and then there's this number code right here. You'd copy it and put it into here and click the plus button to add it to here, in which case, once you do that, you can move it and edit it. The editing color, as of recording this, doesn't work. Depending on how far in the future you're seeing this, it probably does. You can also edit the material and such. Just kind of knock yourself out with the customization. Toolbench, as of current, no use. Sh items, not in the game yet. They'll be added hopefully this month. Hopefully. Shop, again, not added yet. Hopefully the game passes will carry over to the new game. That's that. The radio, it's radio. Metavision, you can press G to toggle on and off, and it shows you where all the players are on the map when you're running around on it. Return to spawn, returns you to spawn. Let's see? Settings. If you enable these, my PC will most likely shit itself, uh, so I'm not going to, but it graphically makes the game really pretty. Now, I am going to go somewhere unpopulated so I can teach you roleplay. Let's 
let's see. Oh boy, the oh, there's no loading lag. That person is gonna go off and do that thing. I'm also gonna hold on. I'm gonna also again graphically this game is just gorgeous not at the moment well for a roblox game not like compared to other games i wouldn't say gorgeous but graphically it looks really nice when you turn the things on here you know what Fuck it. oh boy but graphically in a lot of areas especially when it is nighttime it is nighttime. Never mind. When it is like day, whatever. Basically, in certain parts of the map, it can look really good graphically, especially compared to some other Roblox games. Now, also, I feel the need to show you this because everyone needs to say, see this. Actually, also, from what I've seen, in buildings, also looks really good with this on. Yep. It looks, just looks really solid for a Roblox game, but also, it looks Also, what I recommend doing in place of weapons is using these. And on the topic of weapons, this is how you, in general, from my experience, role playing after the flash. If you're doing an action, you'd say I'd or I, for example, I'd eat this apple whole because I'm God. Don't actually say that, it's a stupid example. Or you do. I will walk over to the apple and swallow it whole because I'm a god. See? When you're talking, I find it best to use quotations like this. Or usually people put them at the end and both of the ends I just do it on the front because it's easier with the side tangent with the words that you use in with the words that you use in general in after the flash I like to try and make the words like personalized and use specific words to get specific emotions, I guess, and kind of, like, like, just try and push the personality of the character on the other person a little more. So say my character is a bit of an asshole, he'd say words that a bit of an asshole would say. Say my character is just a nice dude, he'd s just speak in a friendly tone, you know? Now, if you are trying to use a weapon, always, 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 you have to say, I'd unsheath, or I'd unsling, like that, and then you'd say, I'd unsling my rifle, or your shotgun, or your assault rifle, something like that. Then what you do after you do that you'd say like I'd raise my rifle and point it at their head now before before you shoot or kill or cripple anyone you have to ask for permission which to do so you would type PTC and when you do that put parentheses so people know you're out of character if you're not talking as your character, you'd put parentheses before it. And you'd just do P 
PTC or you'd say PTK like that then if you again are going to shoot someone or chop someone if it's like melee dismemberment you'd go I'd chop or hack or whatever word you want to use off your and then whatever body part you want whatever you're cutting off but again you have to ask for permission to do that permission to kill again if it's like slitting someone's goddamn throat you do I'd slit your throat or and if you're being sneaky I'd slit your throat silently or something like that I don't fucking know then I do I'm proud of this character I want in the comments I do want you to rate this character the mouth might change and I wish that the scarf went up a bit more but I do like this character a lot I want to have him in a car but if you're going to shoot you you'd have to say I'd aim and I'd writ like all those things and but to actually shoot you'd say I'd fire my rifle I'm saying rifle you'd say shotgun AR or whatever gun you're using into your skull you could say you it depends on the body part again if you're saying skull like I'd fire a bullet into your heart out of my specific weapon again these are basic words try and use I guess more complicated words that have specific emotions attached to them to get across how your character is like in what manner they're doing it I guess but yeah look at like the lighting specifically and this game is really nice compared to other Roblox games I really like it do we still have um yeah we still have that shit now now is also a good time to tell you please there's nice people in this game but if you encounter someone that isn't and they start yelling at you if they're like an experienced player please be like oh I'm sorry I'm new uh, if you are new don't lie but if you're new you should probably go oh, okay I'm new I'll remember that in the future and also obey fear which is a mechanic in which what it does is basically uh, say you have a gun pointed at your head uh, you can't do anything because you have a gun pointed at your head and you're in fear the best you can do is beg or you could go out of character and ask for permission to break fear if they say yes hey you can break fear and pull out your fucking Glock 18 and dump an entire magazine into them if they're okay with it. It really depends on if other people are okay with it. And if you're like, hey, I kind of don't want that to happen to my character, probably say that. Uh. Oh, C means out of character. They're doing something. Yes. But. <laughs> Basically. Uh, we're probably going to go and I'm going to show you a roleplay of something later. But. Essentially, there can be people like that where they're pretty nice and just having a meme if they're not in character or doing something like that. If someone is purposefully out of character ruining your roleplay, uh, go ahead, fire away on them. Not really. Don't, don't be insulting to people. Don't be mean to people, please. It's like, it's really annoying. And if someone's being rude to you, just void them and leave. Voiding is, you could just type this or void that if that was a specific action or void them if it's a person that basically voiding is ignoring um most of the houses at the at the moment oh wait 
I was gonna say you couldn't get in most of the houses. But, yeah, most of the buildings in the game at the moment are pretty bare-bones and unfinished. Again, the game is in beta. You can only really expect so much. I hope, I hope they're working on it, though. Now, I think I've gone over most of the things to do. You always need to make sure to react to what people are doing and try and hold up your conversations. Don't... This is like more... This isn't really a rule, but it's something that would be a lot nicer for you to do. If you're having a conversation with someone or you're fighting someone, don't purposefully type so fast that they just can't even do anything. It might make your character a bit stronger, or it might make them like... I don't know. It might make you just win slightly easier, but it's just not a very nice thing to do at all, so please just don't. Now, with all of that said, uh, oh yeah, there's mutants. Mutants don't need permission to kill or permission to cripple. I should say that. Mutants, I might make a video on mutants at some point. At the moment. Uh, it's just kind of not necessary. The out-of-character button is in, in this game, which is kind of annoying. You have to say that you're out of character. But we can just... Yep, they're still encircling people. Oh boy. Also, the new map, very fun to explore. The original map was fun to explore, but this one's got like... I don't know. I've, play, I've played the old game for like a year. It's just fun to see... After the flash in a new light, I guess. And I'm excited for this game's future, I'm not gonna lie. Yep, yeah, this is a good example of this game is in beta. And seeing as though we can't get out, I think this is a pretty good opportunity to show you guys how exactly you will play. So I'm gonna go see if I can get a drink or something from a bar. On the note of a bar, this game is not necessarily meant for small children. Blocks is meant for small children. This game is meant for probably teenagers, I'm not quite sure. But there's alcohol and violence in this game, like a good amount of it. So, I'm gonna see if anyone's running a place where I could get some. Uh, most of the stuff so far from what I've seen, again, this game is still under big development. If you want something more, I guess, polished and finished, play after the flash. That one's a lot more finished, although it is no longer in development from what I've heard. And hopefully your game passes will carry over. The things in the store 100% will not be carrying over, most likely, from game to game. However, weapons most likely will evidence um, after the flash overcast. Which, to be fair, uh, kinda shit in my opinion. I didn't love it. It just is kind of the events of the game. And also, if this bridge is reminding you of something, I do think that this game actually takes place in, it's my theory at least, that the game takes place in San, San Francisco, uh, based on kind of like the boat there, and the shape of the bridge, and having been to San Francisco, and that's just the first thing that comes to mind for me personally. But I hope this was helpful at all. I, I say that like I'm finishing it. I want to try to find someone to roleplay with, but I'm too lazy to edit, so I don't want this to take forever. I was hoping to come here and see someone in the bar. Let's see if I can run the bar. has before though. Oh 
Oh boy. Uh, but yeah, this game is just very buggy so far, in general, I will say. Uh, I'm not gonna try and get any roleplayage at the moment, because, at least, like, for the video, because it looks... Oh, so many people just spawned in. It looks at the moment like people don't really want to roleplay. Again, if you want to get, like, I recommend probably playing, uh, Mirage first, after the Flash Mirage. It's just a bit more polished. I think the serious role players are mostly still there. I'm really hopeful for this game, though. Doesn't look like this server's very roleplay-y. On that note, I'm actually not going to end the video. Also, these probably should buy them. On that note, I will show you after the Flash Mirage, which I have a couple of streams of, and there's also lore, dev forum thing. It's definitely worth reading, just for the sake of building the world and building the character. And it's not bad lore either, it's like pretty good. In my opinion. It's pretty brief, but it's pretty good. <sighs> you need to skip the intros as quickly as possible because I know that that is copyrighted. I'm not going to bother going and selecting a character for this. It's just not the greatest use of my time. But these, I will say, these Roblox games are good. They are probably worth your time. Although, when I say this one's more polished, not only do I mean, I mean like it's more polished, I, I don't mean it's 100% polished. There's still bugs. There's one bug where if you go into customization, I, I mean, there's one bug where you might get a weapon stuck to your side or you would be stuck holding a weapon just go into customization and go out but this game at the moment is a lot more polished than the other one I'm hopeful for the future of the other one that people can start seriously role playing in it uh, because at the moment it's got like three times the amount that Mirage has and I'm not gonna but yeah it's like this one's just deserty it's set in Arizona and yeah, that's kind of it. I don't think there's much else for me to say. On yesterday, yeah. It also looks like people playing this game. It's a bit more, but it's also kind of dropping. And people are starting to play Winter Tide a bit more because it's a new, it's a new after the Flash game beta tester. Yay! I'm a beta tester apparently. That's fun. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found this somewhat helpful. It was almost 25 minutes. Uh, Please don't try not to fail roleplay. If I miss something, please cl correct me in the comments. Uh, that's about it. Try and learn from your mistakes and don't lose your temper while playing. It can be hard sometimes, but just try not to. It makes the experience a lot more enjoyable for yourself and other players. Anyway, bye. Uh, yes, I am this lazy, I will not edit. <laughs>